Okay, we're on like week seven of quarantine. I, ha I honestly haven't been counting. I don't know. I think it's week seven. We're gonna go with week seven. A lot has happened in my life during this quarantine. A lot of isolation and sitting around and a lot of getting work done. Wow, I'm way overexposed. That being said, I thought I'd just do an old-fashioned, old-school vlog like I used to to kind of update you guys on, you know, life as an Olympic athlete in quarantine preparing for the now postponed Olympics, all that jazz. To start out this video, here's a workout in home workout I did last week that I filmed, never did anything with the footage. So as part of my quarantine, one of the things I have wanted to do for a long time, but have never successfully done, I've tried multiple times, and never followed through with, is learn to just play the basics of guitar. You know, I've always known the like G, C, E minor, and D chord, but I've never played anything beyond that. I know how to play bass, uh, never took lessons, but I've played it for like eight years now. And guitar, I bought this guitar, what, six years ago? And, you know, I'd pick it up every once in a while and just poke around, but that was a long explanation. One of the things that has been cool about this whole situation is that Fender is giving their online chorus three months for free, and I've taken full advantage of that, of their online chorus learning how to play guitar and freshening up on bass lessons. So I'm not great. Figure out more than four chords like this one or this one or this one or even this one. Obviously I'm not great and it's going to take a lot of practice switching between, but I finally know the fretboard which is great for bass because I used to just look at the numbers. Quarantine, I've taken it upon myself to learn guitar because I've had this for a long time and I wanna learn it. A lot of work to be done, but I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit, learning the finger positions.
that song for no special prize. That's also a bass riff on a guitar. I'm a bassist at heart. So, good news, Indiana is starting a track to reopen the economy, which is great, but everything's not open. So, still in quarantine technically, I still can't train for another couple weeks because pools aren't opening and, you know, the earliest we could probably start training again is May 11th. We've known that for a while, but that's still all tentative, still might get pushed back. I hope it doesn't. But I want to talk about uh, the biggest thing that has happened to me during this quarantine so far. So when all this virus stuff started happening and the Olympics got postponed, I got asked to do a bunch of different interviews um, just talking about, you know, wh how am I feeling about this? What am I going to do from here on? How am I going to sustain what I'm doing for another year? Because like a lot of other people, when this virus hit, they lost their jobs and I didn't lose my job. My job at the time was a diver, but you know, not being able to dive, not having the competitions coming up, there was a lot of question marks of, am I going to be able to sustain just being a diver for the next year now instead of just for X amount more months? And that was a tough question I had to battle. And in that process, I made a decision that, you know, no, being just a diver is not enough to sustain me, my wife, and our two dogs right now to stay where we are another year and train. So in this process, I am committed to training for the next year full time, doing the same workouts I've been doing, but my schedule is going to have to change now because during this whole process, I was able to find a full time job. This is the first, you know, full time position I have ever had. I started submitting resumes to a lot of different companies and by some miracle, I was able to get a response, go through the application process, and get offered a full-time position as a videographer. And the great thing is, is this job is willing to work with my diving schedule, so it's going to be busy and it's gonna be a balance, but I'm now in a position where I have a full-time job and I'm a full-time diver. I'm gonna make both of these things work uh, it is going to be a learning curve, it is going to be a challenge, but the fact that I have a job that's willing to work with my diving schedule and my diving schedule is flexible enough to be moved around the job schedule, I, I finally feel like I'm in a position where diving's not much of a stress for me anymore. And now going forward with a full another year of foot recovery, a full another year of training, and having a full-time job with an income that can support my wife and I where we're at, it seems like it should be more stressful because I'm gonna have more on my plate, but to me it's released a lot of stress because now I can dive and enjoy it and put my full effort towards it, not with a I need to do this to support my wife and I mentality because I have a job that I'm doing that's supporting us. So yeah, I am now officially a full-time diver and a full-time videographer. Those various interviews that came up as all this stuff started going on, they were really asking like, is this sustainable going forward? And I said, no, it's not. I'm gonna have to figure something out. And luckily, something was figured out in a really quick manner, which I'm super thankful for. And this is good too, because now I can be an athlete, and then outside of the athlete, I can be a creative full-time. Write scripts, create content, edit, just, you know, stuff I've been wanting to do for a long time but haven't been able to find a medium of doing it where my time put into it was, you know, a good investment. Because YouTube for the past year is great and all, but I haven't put much effort into it because you'd put, you know, like six to ten hours into a video and make 50 cents to a dollar, at least me, because I just don't get the millions of views like people get, or even thousands of views. This for me now is a free space to just document without worries of perfection, without worries of making engaging content that is the next trend so people watch it. I don't care about that. I can just document what this next year looks like as a full-time videographer, as a full-time diver pursuing the Olympics. It's crazy how a lot of this stuff has come full circle in ways that I wasn't expecting it to, but now is the time where I'm gonna be hitting the ground running, and in a couple weeks when I get back in the pool, I'm excited to have diving, have this creative space to create videos and content, and not worry so much 
about those two worlds colliding. And so that's the biggest thing that's happened during this quarantine for me. Uh, let's go back to the vlog. So this video ended up being a lot longer than I thought it was, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. I will see you guys in the next video. And uh, be sure to subscribe.